Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. A little bit of everything with Erin. If you hear a little background noise today, sorry, the little one is up still and watching her movies. Anyway, I wanted to do a quick tutorial with you guys today. Uh, some of you have been asking about reusable stencils. I've gone ahead and practiced all weekend to find what would work best. And I did finally come up with something that I think you guys will really like. So here is the stencil that I made. And I went ahead and made that with just simple dividers for notebooks. And I got these ones at Walmart. And there are five in it. So the first thing that I went ahead and did was get rid of the side with the holes and the side with the tabs by just going in and using my paper cutter here. So that I have a nice clean sheet to work with. So let's go over to the silhouette and I will show you in the program what we did next. Okay guys, so we are in Studio Designer Edition. We're gonna make our stencil. I already have my image picked up right here. Now you'll want to put a box around that. So I'm just gonna go over here to drawing tools and hit the square. I'm gonna hold the shift button so that it's the same size on all four corners. Grab my arrow. I'll highlight both images and then go over to the right to the transform panel. And I will do the center align on horizontal and vertical so that way it's completely in the middle of that square. I'll group both of these so that they move as one and then I'll go ahead and resize. Then I will place it in the corner up here and you want to make sure you give yourself enough room at the outer edge of the mat so that the square does cut out. Then we'll go to send and under material, you're going to select stencil material. That'll give you a blade of three. And remember, you will have to change your blade. Speed two, force 33 with one pass. This can take anywhere from a minute and a half to about five minutes, depending on how intricate your design is and how many you actually put on here. So let's go ahead and cut that and show you the end result. Okay, so we've gone ahead and cut that out. I left it on the mat so that you could see how it comes off. And I use a Miss Kate cuttable mat. So we'll save this for other ones. And you'll just carefully peel this up. And some of them might still be in there. You'll just pop those out. If it's an intricate cut, you may need to use an X-Acto knife just to detach it a little bit. But for the most part, they should just pop out as if it was cardstock or vinyl and you were weeding it. So. And it's flexible so that it's easy to use, easy to store. And because it's on this plastic, they're reusable. Now you will have some stick to your mat. I just take whatever I use when I'm using vinyl and push up. And they just pop off. Anyway, that's that. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. I really, really appreciate it. If you want to share it, that always helps me out. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to my page. We have lots of fun activities coming up. And if you hit the bell, you'll get notifications anytime I post new videos. So if you guys have any suggestions for other videos I should be making that are craft related, leave me a comment down below. I do appreciate your feedback. Until next time, guys. Happy crafting.